Hey everybody, White Bear Dan here with a new model build. Revels 1969 Chevy Nova SS. I had this car, not the SS, but I had a 71 in right out of high school. Loved this car. Um, I had the 289 version. SS was much cooler. This model's cool as heck. It's a two-in-one. We're going to be building the stock version. I'm going to go with blue. Blue is the color I had. But what you can do with this model is you can build um, the race car version of it, the yellow version. But we're going to stick with the blue one. What's, you know, as with the Revel models, especially two-in-one, you do have those options. I love models that give you both options. And, you know, the thing is, is you can do a little bit of both. Like, if you want to put some hot rod wheels on a stock car, by all means, you can do that. It's your car, your model, any way you go. Um, I'm going to keep it generally stock, like I said. I do follow the instructions. What I do love about Revel models is they have the two body pieces, the two separate pieces for the insert interior. I think that's a much easier clean and much easier build. I find it easier to line everything up. But like I said, their model pieces are really tight. They're solid. I do love the molds. Um, keep in mind, these are a little bit harder to break apart. So you're going to need a good knife, exacto knife, or some sort of clippers to get them off. Rubber wheels, always a plus. Um, the other big thing is, too, is I'm going to paint them while I'm going to have them on the on on the molds it's a little bit easier for me you know as time's gotten on it's a little bit harder to see things they always do suggest you build it first then go back and paint it but if you're going to do this you know do it that way it you know you must you know know that you're going to have to go back and retouch up the paint if you're a messy gluer you probably don't want to do that and do it that way but the big reason is it's just over time it's just been really really hard for me to see the really really small pieces but this model build, I am introducing something that I'm really excited for. I haven't used yet. It is the first time that I've um, had an opportunity to use it. First model I'm going to build with it. But those are the magnifying glasses that I, you know, that you can use to like see the really, really small, small, small pieces. So that's one thing. As I got, uh, as I definitely got a little bit older and my eyesight started going i really needed one of these it was important for me to kind of be able to see the small pieces and i will tell you for me it was really a game changer i didn't realize like how much i was missing how much more precise i could be when i could see things really small so you know when you're building small things eyesight's great well thanks for watching everybody i got some great music for you enjoy the first part of this build and thanks for watching
here it is with the first layer of paint on everything like I said if you're gonna do it this way and paint everything while it's still on it you're gonna to have to go back and retouch things up as you glue them it's not a big deal if you're if you glue pretty lightly um, testers glues pr works really really well and it will break down the plastics pretty quickly so gluing is is not a, a big issue with these parts um, but yeah it, it can be a little bit messy and you'll have to go back like I said I use basic colors you know, obviously there could be a difference between silver and aluminum. I think I pretty much painted everything s aluminum in this, regardless if it said silver. There was a couple things I were painted in silver, but for the most part, if I'm differentiating, I have silver and I have aluminum. Um, like I said, I don't think I changed the black. I think it's gloss black all the way across. But you can get as detailed as you want. Your model, your build, do it however you want to go. Um, yeah, like I said, here's the paints that I use for the uh, bodies. I use Krylons, plastic. I don't even use primer. I like to buy the ones that already have the primer in it. But like I said, thanks for watching. Watch the rest of the build. Painting's done.